Are you guys ready for a roller coaster of emotion? <laughs> Are you guys ready for a roller coaster of emotion? <laughs> um, this is so crazy. So I just watched uh, Requiem, which is a German film um, about a woman who uh, is going to college and she um, has been, I don't know if she was diagnosed, but she has epilepsy. She, it's weird because the way that they, they say what the doctors said it is and they don't know what it is, all that kind of stuff. She's taking medication for epilepsy. So I assume that's what she has. Anyway, um, she goes to college and um, starts having seizures and thinks that it's got to do with her religion. Um, if you can see where I'm going with this. Crazy thing is I didn't realize until afterwards that if this is, well, I realized that it was very similar to the exorcism of Emily Rose. Um, lots of the scenes and things like that. And I'm like, I bet you this is on the same case. Totally forgot that in 2017, this isn't even that long ago. This is like two and a half years ago because it's in February. Um, I actually did a Real Faces of Horror episode, look at me, goth queen, <laughs> I look so different, hey, um, <laughs> look at anyway, she, we did a, me and this, this girl, um, did an episode of, uh, Real Faces of Horror on her, so, um, I spoke about this case, look how different I look, <laughs> um, it's just lipstick. Anyway, so that's so crazy because I actually like looked up the case and then my own video came up and I'm like, oh wow. So this is based on the same story as um, the exorcism of Emily Rose, but the exorcism of Emily Rose actually came out a year beforehand. So it's super interesting. Um, the one thing I really like about this film is it's different to other exorcist possessed stories because it doesn't show anything supernatural yeah i mean obviously it talks a lot about faith but you can't actually hear any of the voices she's hearing you can't see like shadows of demons or anything you just see her reacting to that and in that respect she does a phenomenal job because you know it would be so cheesy for so many actors to like fall on the floor or you know like try and reach out for a cross and have their hand bent backwards and all that kind of stuff she is a great actress um in this film the film is also very serious uh with the tone obviously but uh, it doesn't have any overwhelming theatrical music um throughout it it doesn't go to any peaks or anything like that it just really stays on this steady flow it's an hour and 26 minutes if i remember correctly and um i felt really into the story the whole time like this is definitely one of the films on the list that actually I was really into and really interested to see what happens I don't know if it was because um, it became evident that it was based on a true story um, but I just really wanted to see what she felt and how she was going through it um, her family is super religious and it does feature a lot about her mother and their relationship so that was super interesting too and I really wish I knew what the family thought of both of these films because they're very different when I say both of these films I mean the Emily Rose and this one because they're very different um, accounts of what happened um, but they follow obviously the same structure and the same story um, but I feel like the exorcism of Emily Rose because it's American it's very much like hyped up very like uh, you know soapy drama um, it's like you know it's the detective with their faith and all that kind of stuff um which i love that movie don't get me wrong that movie is so scary like that is one of the movies that really scared me um but this one is very matter of fact very straightforward and more of a drama piece than really like a full-blown horror um so it's very subtle and if i didn't know or remember like the other movies or like you know somewhere in the back of my head remember the case i probably wouldn't even put two and two together with you know, being possessed because it doesn't really show any of that. This is definitely one of those films that really toy with the idea of um, whether what we're seeing is real or what the main character is seeing is real. And um, uh, I mean, there's not many answers given in this situation. It's just kind of like, I wouldn't say a slice of life because it's like a traumatic story, but it's definitely like a fly in the wall to this strange thing unraveling. And uh, it really focuses on just the start of um, her down spiral and um, yeah kind of cuts off a lot of it 
that would be the most interesting part but I think it was a good choice because obviously we've got that movie in a different version but it was like a tasteful choice almost um, and I just like I watch this and I want to think like there has to be a meaning behind the way they've done this maybe it's like to talk to kids about being like on their medication and like seeing a doctor and um, mental health but then obviously there's a lot to do with religion so this film it's like I'm not really sure which side it's sitting on. Is it siding with the main character who is determined that this is the devil, that, you know, there's demons, that she, what she's seeing is real? Or is it siding on the side that she's got some kind of psychosis and she needs, like, help? It's very strange. Um, I would love to know what you guys think about down below because that was what was the most curious to me and that's probably why I was so like lured in. I just kept thinking like what's gonna happen to her? Is she gonna get the help she needs? Like which side is this on? And I guess with these kind of tales you never really know and that's what is horrific about it because there's no... I mean I don't believe in God uh, and I guess that means I don't believe in the devil. Um, I'm an atheist but uh, you know, it's it's a movie, so there could be, you know, a resolution on either side, but it, there's not really. Anyway, um, there is a lot in there and there's a lot to unpack. Her relationship with her boyfriend, her relationship with Sin, her relationship with her family. Highly recommend checking this one out. It really lured me in and um, very interesting to see the way things play out. I think you should definitely check that out. I'm not going to spoil any of that. I was in between a 6 and a 7 for this one, so if I'm always unsure, I'm going to go to a 6 because I feel like I have to be really sure to give it a higher score. I have to say, it's been very challenging scoring all of these movies in a row. Usually when you have breaks between films, you feel like very refreshed and, you know, a clean palette. So that's been really hard this time. But this is the challenge, guys. This is why it is a challenge. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll let me know down below what you thought of Requiem. And if you like this movie or Emily Rose more and why I would love to hear your opinion on that and thank you guys so much for sticking with me if you've been with me since day one thank you thank you I need you guys I need the support um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for another 31 days of horror and I'll see you then bye I keep doing the piece I hope everyone's okay with that